2021 is almost over, but this year left us some of the best Metroidvania games out there. Okay, maybe not Silksome, but we have some amazing Metroidvania games for our enjoyment. I know there's Eternal Noctis coming out next month, and boy that game looks good. But let's check out some of the games we can play right now. Let's kick off with Unsighted, a top-down 2D Metroidvania that reminds me of CrossCode, one of the best indie action RPGs ever made. In Unsighted we play as Alma, a kind of human automaton trying to save his race from becoming unsighted, that is, going rogue. Each character, even Alma, has a timer that when it goes down to zero it goes unsighted and we must eliminate it and thus losing any side quest related to that character. We have a tight and hard action combat, fantastic exploration, and all the elements in Metroidvania need, like different abilities that open up new passages and great boss fights. Castlevania Advanced Collection brings us four Castlevania games. Castlevania Circle of the Moon, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, Castlevania Area of Sorrow, and Castlevania Dracula X. Four games for the price of one. Three Metroidvania games from the GBA era that have great combat and a fantastic story. We don't have updated graphics, so it's just a port from the GBA games. Port cities as good as lost. Feast is a 2.5 Metroidvania game where we play as Raiden, a Fertisense, that opposes the regime of the Legion, and armed with his Iron Fist will put a stop to these rulers. Feast is a game based on its action-packed combat, we get upgrades and new abilities so we can keep on making bigger and better combos as we destroy the Legion. Ender Lily is maybe the best Metroidvania of the year so far. You play as Lily as you are awoken by a dark knight that will aid you during your quest. This knight will be the one responsible for attacking. Lily later on can learn a lot of magic that will aid her during this quest. It has a phenomenal combat, beautiful story and great looking graphics. Axiom Verge 2, the sequel to the 2015 Axiom Verge, it's back with more nostalgia-driven gameplay, a game that is more Metroid than Metroidvania, even the story is obsessed with the past. The combat is not the best, we have upgrades and tons of abilities, but it's not on par with many of the best Metroidvania games. The exploration and story are what will keep you going forward in Axiom Verge 2. Blaster Master Zero series returns with its final chapter! Blaster Master Zero 3 is another blast from the past. This version doesn't bring many new things to the table, but it perfects the retro platformer formula that Inti Creates has been working on since the first game, with a bigger map to explore and the great action platforming Blaster Master Zero always has. Serious dimensional ruptures are beginning to appear all throughout the planet Sophia. With Jason's new VRV system, he has the power to cross over into treacherous, super-dimensional space. Boo 
boot up the VRV system and set off to find your missing partner, Eve. The fates of Jason, Eve, and the planet Sophia all revolve around the mutant scourge. But now, an interdimensional reverse... At running full analysis, my readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Metroid Dread is finally out, with a massive map to explore, a classic progression system, a combat system that's fluid, fast-paced, requires aim and skill, it's the best combat a Metroid ever had. The game looks phenomenal, as expected of a main Metroid game. It has some horror elements that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Grime has a Souls-like combat with RPG element. Combat is brutal and will challenge you in every fight. But you will not lose souls like another Souls game each time you die, so don't be afraid to explore the vast world Grime brings us to the Metroidvania table. Phonetopia Awakening is a punishing Metroidvania game. At the start of it, you'll know you're gonna be facing a fantastic but hard as nails combat. It's a little trial and error, but you'll have to learn your enemies' patterns to defeat them and keep going forward. Record of Lodos War, the lead in Wonder Labyrinth, shows some beautiful pixel art graphics. It's a 2D classic Metroidvania game with stat management being the most important aspect of it. You go from place to place, killing enemies, solving puzzles with a great mechanic using a bow and arrows and progressing on the story while doing so. We have a leveling system like in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where killing each enemy gives us XP so we can level up our character. The story could be better, but still delivers. Thank <laughs> you. 